Hey guys, welcome to Terrio Tribune. Today I'll be your host, John Brown, and we're going to go over the third of the fifth W's for Guild Wars 2. So, where is Guild Wars 2 set? Guild Wars 2 is set in a period of time placing it 250 years after the last Guild Wars, and the Elder Dragons have woken in Terria and are causing destruction all over the place. The five playable races have to try and stop the dragons before it's too late. The humans used to be a dominant race, but now only have one remaining kingdom, Krita. They have developed a number of different cultures in Krita due to refugees trying to hold together any part of what they once called home. Most humans are dedicated to the six human gods, although in the past 200 years, the gods have stepped back and let the humans stand on their own. The humans have a monarchy, which uh, ministers make law proposals to the queen, who then decides which laws to infringe on society. Now, the Char. The Char are large savages that have renounced all religion and have become a military state who are brought up as warriors from birth. They are angered by the Char worship, but yet acknowledge all other races' gods as beings of power except for the humans. Their culture, society, technology, and relationships are all centered around the supporting warfare. The non-military deeds such as farming are done by their young, elderly, and injured. Weakness is not taken lightly in Char whether become a Gladium, which is a Char who lost their warband, or have their name stricken from Char history, period. The Norn are hunters, and their skills in tracking, stealth, and killing make them very desirable allies. Their culture is very set in personal success, especially on the great, and great hunts and battles. They do not fear death, as they do believe immortality can be earned by the brave and the strong, but they do fear becoming weak causing them to always prove themselves. The Norn believe in totem animals, being spirits of the strongest animals for the southern Shiver Peaks. The closest thing the Norn has to leadership is the respect that one gains from other Norns by performing well-known heroic acts. Alright, so let's go over the Sura. The Sura are small craftsmen that have dwelled underground for thousands of years until the Great Destroyer's minions forced them out. They value intelligence over all else, and the Sura spend most of their entire life building up a portfolio of successful projects or becoming an expert in a tiny part of the arcane, almost to the point of obsession. The Sura believe in the eternal alchemy, which is the idea of all beings and the magic are part of a greater purpose, or a machine the Savari, the last but not least. The Savari are a young botanic race born from the Pale Tree that was planted by Ronan and raised by the Ventari, who were trying to get away from the violence in Syria. They are a very honest and a direct race, and they view individual experiences and wisdom as what makes them unique from one another. They have agnostic views towards the human gods, but want proof of their existence. All in all, the races have to stick together and become unified to take down the dragons that now threaten the, their existence.